Hi everyone, in this task you will be displaying the multiplication sequence of a number. So the task description says write a program that takes a number from the user and displays to the user the multiplication table or sequence for that number starting at 1 and ending at 10. So uh, I feel like I have to provide a little bit more explanation. For example, if the user enters any number like 3, then you're going to show to the user like 3 times 1 is going to be 3, 3 times 2 is going to be uh, 6, 3 times 3 is going to be 9, and you're going to go all the way to 3 times 10 is going to be 30. So that is going to be the multiplication sequence or table for that specific number so pause the video attempt the challenge and you're going to see my solution after three seconds how was the task i'm sure you did great so uh, first off let's input a number from the user i'm going to say and input this part has become very very simple uh, by now so we just say enter a number and next now this is the logic so uh, let's say the user enters five and we want to show to the user the multiplication sequence or table for five so we will be working with some sort of range that range is going to start from one and it is going to end at 10 so we are going to say for x in range start from 1 and end at 10. That's why we pass an 11 because it's never going to get 11. It's just going to get one number less than that, which is 10. What do we want to do with this? We want to print it to the screen. What do we want to print to the screen? So we want to grab. Now let's think about this for like 10 seconds. So x, what is going to be the first value of x? It is going to be 1. So we know that x is 1. Now if I grab the number, and let's say the number that the user has entered is 5. So 5 times, instead of that, I'm just going to pass in uh, 5 times x, right? So what is the first number of x? That is 1. What is going to be the result of it? The result of it is going to be number times x. So number is 5, 5 times 1, we are going to get 5 times 1, we are going to get 5. And in the second iteration, x is going to be 2, so 5 times 2, we are going to get 10. In the third iteration, x is going to be 3, so 5 times 3, we are going to get 15, and so on and so forth. So let's save that, let's run this code. And uh, it, it is going to request for... Uh, and, ask for a number I'm just going to pass in 5 and you can see that this is the multiplication table for this specific number 5 times 1 5 times 2 3 4 all the way to 10 now if you pass in 10 here it's never going to get 10 it is just going to get one number less than that so let me clear the con uh, terminal run that enter 5 you can see that we ended at 5 times 9. So you could save 10 plus 1 or you could just simplify it and say 11. It's up to you, whatever you want to do here. If you pass in 4, it's going to give you the multiplication table for 4. That's it for this task. See you in the next one.